For years, this has been the conventional view of how a lecture should be presented. The lecturer stands at the front of the class and talks to his or her students, perhaps using PowerPoint, Keynote or Prezi to enhance the lecture with slides or movies. Yes, this is more engaging than a dry two-hour talk, but it's a format that a Victorian academic would recognise. How to improve students' experience. Student experience can be defined as the totality of a student's interaction with the institution. It includes various aspects. We are going to focus on teaching and learning activities as lecturers. Surely, when we are teaching Generation Z students who are digital natives, born into a world where social media and network connectivity are taken for granted, we should be using a language they recognise and a format that engages them in the most immersive and inspirational way possible. Characteristics of Generation Z Our students are mainly Generation Z, born from 1993 to 2005. They're digital natives, connected at all times. 67 minutes per day spent on media in 2009. When accounting for multitasking, 8 hours of total electronic multimedia exposure daily. Social networks, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp. Embedding this sort of technology into our traditional face-to-face -face teaching methods to create an immersive environment of truly blended interactive learning may sound like science fiction, but other industries have embraced it and are already reaping the rewards. Example. How does virtual reality improve student engagement? Well, student engagement, collaborative learning activities, the usage of logic, memory, problem solving visualisation and discovery, question-based learning, understanding of complex systems. Those early adopters include the car industry, architects, healthcare professionals, fashion designers and countless others. These users are able to experience in hyper-real detail impossible to see moments, such as neurons firing in the human brain, the flow of air through a jet turbine, a dress design in 20 different materials in the blink of an eye, or a new building. Theoretical background. Situative theory refers to the theoretical frameworks which argue that knowledge, thinking and learning are situated, or located, in experience. Knowledge, thinking and learning cannot be separated from, they are dependent upon, context. Situative theorists argue that the context and activities in which individuals learn are fundamental to what they learn. By using situative theory to underpin the application of technology and learning, we can improve our students' learning experience. Situative theorists posit that knowledge, thinking and learning are located in experience. Learning cannot be separated from context and research has shown that AR can improve student motivation at learning mathematics in high school. Bournemouth University's new VLE, Brightspace, is a great example that demonstrates how AR can be blended with traditional learning in higher education to improve the student learning experience. Education professionals who embed virtual or augmented reality into their blended delivery can expect to experience classroom interaction and student engagement on an unprecedented scale. Imagine using Brightspace in this way. It can open up a world of possibilities that engage students and enhance learning. Applying virtual reality in modern education. Traditional method of using online, internet-based teaching method, e.g. tweets, Facebook, blogs, discussion board. Asynchronous. Multi-user virtual world environments. Widespread and interesting but underdeveloped areas of research. Synchronous methods. Mainly used in collaborative or simulation-based education. Multi-user virtual world enhanced learning experience in class and distance learning and can increase nurses' engagement at learning research on a group of students. Designing a classroom found that students enjoyed their learning experience more with multi-user virtual environment than other methods. Successful participation involves ongoing efforts to learn. Multi-user virtual world environments, or MOVES, provide innovative methods for synchronous and collaborative learning experiences. 
and moves don't just work in the classroom, they're very effective tools for distance learning. This type of virtual reality and augmented reality technology offers many benefits that support and in some cases challenge the conventional view of student engagement. It is very effective when applied to collaborative learning, problem solving, using logic and memory, visualisation, question based learning and understanding complex systems. So, if you're teaching neurological science at doctoral level, history to 11-year-olds, interior design to undergraduates, or the basics of paleontology to people in care homes, don't ignore this technology. Embrace it. It will be the new normal and will help you to engage your students and facilitate their education in the most amazing and immersive ways imaginable.